can always count on at least one magical warm day in December every year, and today is that day. It is December 15th, it is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, it feels like April out here. Most of the snow that we had has melted over the last couple of days. The bees are extremely active, and today is the day they are getting their holiday treats. I've got 40 pounds of fondant that I made last night, and it's going in the hives today. Hello, bee. If you're wondering why I have a fence around the bee yard right now, you're probably not following me on Instagram. If you haven't yet, go check out Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there behind the scenes and I post things there before I post them on YouTube. And sometimes I post things that don't even make it to YouTube. But anyway, the fence is there to protect the arborvitae from the deer. The first time it snowed, I noticed deer tracks all around the bee yard and all the arborvitaes were getting chomped. So I came out here and I put up an old garden fence, and it seems to be stopping the deer. So now we have the electric fence to keep the bears away from the bees, we have the arborvitae to keep the wind away from the bees, and now we have a fence to keep the deer away from the arborvitaes. <sighs> These are crazy active today. So today I'm just opening up all the tops of the hives, the lids, going down below the Vivaldi board, and I'm gonna drop fondant on top of all the frames. A Little bit of mold up here, burlap is dry. There's still a ton of sugar up here from when I left it in there. That's good. Now they're just gonna get fondant. So the nice thing about this insulation design is that I can take the lid off, take the cover off, take the Vivaldi board off, and I don't disturb any of this insulation on the side or, or anything underneath. And because I blocked off the Vivaldi board, I don't have bees up in here. So I know I'm not gonna hurt anybody by taking out the burlap. And here's my modular Vivaldi board. I do have to crack the inner cover though, which I don't like doing, but it's for food. Nice. Well, they have taken all of the sugar. All of the sugar I put in here is gone. So I'm gonna give them a little extra fondant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the Frank and Nuke drama hive. See what's going on in here. Tons of sugar. Looking good. A lot of dead bees in the front of this hive. Let's see what they have for stores. Yeah, they're consuming sugar. I gotta get these bees down in the hive. Had to get them down, they were all flying everywhere. Bit of a mess. as is, there's a lot of sugar still right there. They had a ton of sugar, ton of sugar. All right, Balboa. Okay, they have taken all of the sugar that was in there. Okay, Russians. Hello, mouse. Two mice. 
You're not supposed to be there. This is why we have mouse guards, folks. You gotta move. Wow, they made a nice nest, but not allowed here. <laughs> Russians look fine. Tons of sugar in there. They're good. All right, here's our last hive of the day. Plenty of sugar. I think this hive's okay. All right, looking really good. Everybody is doing well. All right, it has been a... Uh, it has been a very interesting year this year with weather. We had a freezing cold November and snow, and then December has been warmer than November has been. Today, 50 degrees, beautiful day. We had some sun, it's chilling out now, but uh, great day for the bees to get out, cleanse, you know, reorganize in the hive. They all have a lot of fondant and sugar on top now, so everyone seems really solid. All of the hives are alive. That's good. Going into the depths of the winter now, temperatures are gonna drop and we're gonna have the next couple of months is when we have our frigid, frigid cold weather. Hopefully they're just gonna cluster up, not consume a lot of resources and just survive. And I'll be out here on warm day in January if we get one, but either way, I'm gonna be out here sort of listening at the hives. I'll be doing a couple check-ins and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of one of those infrared things to so I can see how warm things are, you know, in January when we have, you know, negative, negative temperatures. So that's going to be it for today. Please, again, check out Instagram if you are not following me on Instagram. In these, these cold winter months, I'm not going to be <laughs> filming a ton of video outdoors, but when I find interesting things, I snap shots, I get them on Instagram, and I try and keep that active more so than the channel if, you know, things are slow. So check me out there, keep in touch. We'll see you guys over the winter. I'm not stopping making videos. I'll slow down a little bit, but I'm not gonna stop. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.